this year will most likely be one of the most important economic years for the UK ever. Last year it was the fifth largest economy in the world, but right now they are on the edge of a complete collapse. And the reason for this collapse might surprise you, because it is of their own making. The country is right now in economic severe problems and the Bank of England is doing everything they can to try and save the economy. The country has doubled its debts. Thousands of businesses may face permanent closure. The British pound has just crashed to an all-time low. The Prime Minister just resigned under financial pressure and is now holding the shortest term in British history. But according to the International Monetary Fund, then the worst is yet to come. Last week I made a video talking about how the world's economy is on the edge of a collapse, but a lot has happened since, so I need to make an update, because what has happened in the UK will affect the entire world, including you and I. So what is actually going on? Is the UK on the edge of a complete financial collapse? And how will this collapse affect the entire world, including you and I? That is exactly what I'm going to answer in today's YouTube video. In order to understand if the UK is going to collapse, but then it is super important to understand just how they ended up in this situation. And that is what I'm going to talk about right now. Before I go any further, then I would like to say that making a video like this takes a long time and a lot of effort. So if you actually like today's video, then please press the like button below the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. With that being said, then let's get started. It all started with employers being promised a proportion of their income through retirement. And this pension market has now grown to a 1.6 trillion pound market. However, there is some big problems with the way that this pension scheme is working. Because right now people are starting to live longer and longer. And therefore they need support from the government for a longer period of time than what we did previously. Even though it sounds very weird, but then does the government actually have a baseline saying how much they expect people to cost them in retirement and they are adjusting this amount annually for inflation as well. And this is when you have to pay attention because the UK somehow has to finance all of these pension funds and when the inflation is increasing this fast, well then does the need for capital in these pension funds also increase very very fast. The way in which they are financing this is by buying UK backed bonds because they have historically been very very stable and they don't fluctuate much in price. And of course buying bonds on their own is completely fine. It is not the highest risk investment you can make. But the problem here is that the bond did not provide a large enough return to support the need for capital in these pension funds. And this is when things got really bad because now the pension funds they started investing in more riskier assets and they use these riskier assets as collateral for buying more bonds. That is a strategy that works very well when the market is going in the right direction. However, right now, the market is not going in the right direction. In the normal market, it is very, very easy for a pension fund to borrow one million pound in a bank and then invest this one million pound into bonds that provide a 3% return and then basically sell the bonds and repay the loan and earn a 2% profit on top of that. But when the bond market is decreasing as it is right now, well then what happens is that you borrow 1 million pounds, buy 1 million worth of bonds. However, this time the bonds does not go up by 3%, instead they lose 2%. That means you can't repay the bank loan anymore because the 1 million are now only worth 970,000 pounds. Typically pension funds doing this, but they will have some cash on the side to help if things go south. But the assets have declined so fast in value that they are now running out of cash and they actually don't have the cash to repay their loans anymore. And that is causing them to sell anything they can in order to stay afloat. Since the pension funds have now started to sell anything they can in order to stay afloat, well then it basically means that they have started selling a lot of bonds. And selling a lot of bonds causes the price of bonds to decrease even further, which in return means they have to sell even more. And it just continues like this. And this is when the Bank of England decided to step in in order to try and save the falling bond market. They are basically buying all the bonds they can at a very, very low price in order to try and stabilize the bond market from falling even further down. It is yet unknown how many bonds they are selling and for how long the Bank of England can continue doing this. But it is also unknown what this is going to do to the debt of England. So here are my thoughts on how this can affect the rest of the world 
including you and I. The actual impact of this situation is yet unknown, and we don't know either whether the price of what is happening have already been priced within the market. But with all of these things going on in the UK right now, the extremely high inflation, people being unable to pay their utility bills, people losing faith in the leaders of the country, and with the UK being as large of an economy as it is, but then I do fear that the consequences of this will spread all over the world. My biggest concern is the amount of debt that the country will end up having. And that combined with the extremely high inflation in the EU, the current war between Russia and Ukraine, the rapid falling stock market in China. It is becoming very, very hard to see how all of this won't end up in a massive, massive recession. And the recession that will be talked about for many years and being referred to as the biggest financial crash in modern financial history. And this might be the thing that causes all of that to unravel. That was all I had in today's video. Thank you for watching the video. And if you actually liked the video, then please press the like button below the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.